Hello everybody, welcome to the fifth week of Lent edition of Monday Musings. I uh, hope everybody is enjoying this clear, bright, uh, if chilly day, uh, getting a break from the rain, though it looks like we're going to get hammered again tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully everybody is uh, prepared uh, for for that. So um, Holy Week's coming! Um, Hopefully you've checked the, the schedules. Of course, Palm Sunday is a uh, normal, normal mass schedule Though we will have, uh, because it's the first Sunday of the month, uh, we will have the 5 p.m. Uh, Sunday mass as well. Uh, and uh, again, with the blessing of the palms and the processions and all that wonderful part of Palm Sunday to begin the solemn celebrations of Holy Week. Uh, you have a few opportunities left to get your halo polished uh, before Easter. You have uh, the regular times tomorrow night, Wednesday morning, uh, Friday morning, uh, Saturday. Uh, no confessions on Thursday night. Uh, we'll have the Chrism Mass. Uh, we'll be up in Sacramento. That's the Mass where the bishop blesses all of the three holy oils. Uh, for use throughout his diocese, uh, and also the priests uh, who are with him uh, join and recommit to their priestly service for the year. Uh, traditionally, that the Chrism Mass is on Holy Thursday morning, uh, and then the Triduum begins that night, but especially for dis or the diocese with distances like ours, uh, that's no longer possible. Uh, so many dioceses uh, like ours have the Chrism Mass uh, either earlier in Holy Week or like we do in the Diocese of Sacramento, uh, the Thursday of the fifth week. So still keeping that tie with Thursday, with Holy Thursday, uh, the initiation of the Eucharist and the priesthood. Uh, anyway, just a long way of saying uh, no confessions uh, this Thursday night. Um, so that we can all uh, attend. Um, and then for next week, of course, we'll have uh, the normal normal mass schedule until Thursday. Uh, and starting on Holy Thursday morning, instead of mass, we will have Tenebrae, uh, the wonderful uh, chanting of the, uh, particularly of the Lamentations of Jeremiah. Uh, lamenting over the fall of Jerusalem and tying that into uh, the Lord's Passion. It's a beautiful traditional Dominican uh, celebration. Uh, those will be live streamed uh, in case you're not able to come, but of course uh, we'll have it in person as well. So that's Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. Uh, and then just look at the handout for the rest of the uh, liturgical schedules for for Holy Week, and then of course Easter, uh, we'll have the normal Sunday uh, mass schedule plus the additional 6:30, <clears throat> excuse me, the 6:30 mass sunrise mass at the cemetery, weather permitting. Uh, so that that's the Easter Sunday mass schedule. So you'll hear me say this this weekend if uh, you come to mass here, uh, you might not get your normal seat on Easter Sunday morning. It's okay. You'll live. I promise. Uh, be nice to our visitors uh, because it's one of those times, of course, that brings people uh, to Mass. And so we want them to have a good experience. Uh, the staff and I will certainly do our part uh, to make it as welcoming as possible. But uh, there is something about uh, their fellow parishioners welcoming them, greeting them, uh, and, and inviting them to come back uh, if these are not familiar faces uh, so please do take your role as ambassadors of St. Dominic's uh, very seriously. So this is, this is an important uh, part of the liturgical experience for our guests. Uh, because as we know that, that you know, Easter is one of those days that people who are on the fence about the practice of their faith <clears throat> will come to Mass. And so... Again, it's important for you, their brothers and sister parishioners, uh, to welcome them with open arms and to tell them uh, everything you love about St. Dominic's and why they should come uh, more regularly. 
So uh, that's what's going on this week. Uh, as I say, just a couple more opportunities to polish your halo. I did wanted to mention that a week from today, both morning and evening will be our special time for confessions um, from 9 to 11 in the morning and 6.30 to 8 in the evening uh, with all four of your hometown friars plus two visitors. Uh, so six priests hearing confessions uh, Monday of Holy Week, 9 to 11 a.m. and 6.30 to 8 p.m. So plenty of opportunities uh, to have your confession heard. Uh, your last opportunity uh, will be the Wednesday morning of Holy Week. Uh, there will be no confessions on uh, after Holy Thursday. So uh, if you would like to go to confession, uh, please plan accordingly. You have lots of opportunities uh, between now and next Wednesday. And of course, that's one of the great joys of uh, for us as priests. Uh, I know tonight I'm going to another parish in the deanery uh, to hear confessions, doing that a couple nights uh, this week, tis, as it were, tis the season. Um, but uh, it's a wonderful way to prepare for, for Easter, for entering into uh, the, the rich uh, liturgies of, of Holy Week, um, but especially, uh, again, being united with Christ uh, in his suffering, death, and resurrection, and doing that with your brothers and sisters uh, in person, uh, receiving the Eucharist, uh, receiving uh, reconciliation. Uh, I know for myself, I'm going to confession uh, this week. It's it's my time, so uh, I'll be doing that myself. So I'm trying to practice uh, what I'm encouraging you to do as well. So uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful week and look forward to seeing you uh, this weekend and next week for Holy Week. God bless. Bye-bye for now.